Uh, Cindy, you may want to jump in on this one also. Cindy and I are actually going to the Infant Crisis Center together tomorrow. So despite what you hear, Republicans <laughs> and Democrats, uh, we do a lot together. In fact, I know that, um, digressing just a little bit here, but the, the freshman class, I think we are working very hard to make sure that we are working together as Oklahomans. And I know that when we've sponsored luncheons and things like that, that have been what I call lunch and learns, uh, regardless of party, you know, I've made sure everybody's invited because if it's information that's going to move our state forward, every legislator needs the same information. So let me jump back now. Um, with regards to DHS, it is a problem. The first piece of legislation that I've had passed this year and was signed by the governor dealt with uh, the de Department of Human Services being required to communicate with adoption agencies when a child is available for adoption. Uh, I mean, I could not believe that that was not taking place. Um, so we've got a lot of work to do, but sometimes I think it is just going in with fresh eyes, identifying the simple things that everybody thinks are being done, but maybe aren't. Um, there is a movement now amongst our churches, and I think we need to encourage that. Um, there's a um, link that will go out to the churches when there's an emergency need. I know that at our church and in several other churches, you get an, an immediate need that, you know, a parent is... Um, the only thing keeping the parent from getting their child back is being able to get to work. Could uh, a bus pass be provided? Very, very simple things like that are going to make it easier. We've got in right now in DHS custody over 500 children that have no parent and no aunt and uncle, no foster care options. Um, it's a crisis situation. I think we need, the pinnacle plan is going to be rolling off. So it is going to be incumbent upon us as Oklahomans to step up and be prepared. And I think it's going in with fresh eyes saying, what would make this system work better? And we have to ask the people who are in the system, what is impeding the progress in taking care of these children? Uh, shame on us if we do not get this done. Uh, these are our children, these are our families, and it's what we're here to do.